Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stamper with Texas Fish Tips. This is your weekly fishing report. Guys, we've been catching some nice fish out here in front of Ransom Island, all down through here. Behind these islands as well. Any of them down through here. Uh, popping cork and shrimp has been working really well for us. Uh, shrimp on the bottom. Uh, when the bad weather, after the bad weather, it's hard to get a bite. That shrimp picks them up. You get a lot of small ones, but there's some good ones. You also pick up some black drum along the way. And we're also using crab fish bites with shrimp sometimes, throwing out there, and we're catching those drum and the redfish the same way. Anywhere's down here behind Dagger, any of these little islands down through these little cuts through here, we've been catching fish all up and down through here, even along the intercoastal, these little islands down through. There's lots of scattered fish. If you just want to get in your boat, get your drift sock if it's not too windy, and just drift, make some drifts through here. All down through here, or if you'll get out here and drift a little bit, power pole down or anchor up, Fish a little bit, let it drift a little bit, do it again, drift, and then catch you some more fish. Just keep on working because these fish are scattered all out through here. All right, over by these little islands, these little cuts right down through, has been holding some nice redfish all the way by island number one, two, three, and four. Anywhere's down through this whole area has been holding some redfish. There's a few black drum mixed in. Like I said, if you use shrimp, you catch it all. You'll catch a hard edge. You'll catch everything, but you're going to catch the black drum with the reds. Whereas if you come out here and just throw cut and mullet, like in this V right here, this funnel, uh, there's been some reds in here. It also been along these little islands right down through here. Cut mullet catches the bigger reds. Cut menhaden will work as well. Uh, if you have to catch a ladyfish, cut it up, put it on hook, chunk it out there, and put it in a rod holder and sit back and watch it. That's the best way to catch those redfish. But if you just want to sit there and do something, keep your hands busy, we'll catch you a popping cork and shrimp, just go drifting through here. You'll catch a few trout mixed in along the way. And sometimes they like that cork moving a lot more. Sometimes they don't. So go out there and pop it, let it set, uh, and see if they want it. And if they don't, then pop it, pop it, and keep on going. But just let them tell you what they want. Okay, over here at the Station Street Pier, they've been catching some nice redfish, a few black drum off of it, a couple of pompano. If you get over here in front of Klein's Landing, we've been catching some redfish on shrimp. Uh, use cut mullet. Uh, you want to make sure that current is not going too fast. Because it gets too fast, you just ain't going to catch them. It's just, you got to use like three ounces of weight to hold it down. But if you go on out here by these jetties, anywhere near those rocks, there's been some nice fish caught. There's been trout. There's been pompano. There's been jacks, bull reds, slot reds, just about everything you can possibly think of out here. And we're catching everything on shrimp. There are still a few sheeps out hanging around that are good keepers. Uh, same way if you get on that beach side, toward that south side of that south jetty, works pretty good too. Uh, you don't have to contend with all that big current either. Uh, same way that north side of that north jetty, if you're in a boat, get over here. It's a good place to fish. That south wind won't beat you up too bad over here. Also, if you're on that jetty boat, you get on here and you can throw across here in about the third sandbar, and that's usually where you need to go. You don't need to go all the way into that jetty because it's just a long walk for no reason sometimes. Okay. Good old Indian Point Pier is holding some nice fish out there. There's a few redfish caught closer to the bank on that pier instead of way out on the end of it. Uh, that's a better place. There's also some rocks down through here you can catch some fish off of. Uh, there's still catch a few of big uglies off that pier out in the deeper water, and there's some trout at night off of it, all on shrimp. Now, we've been catching trout along the shoreline down through here, Portland shoreline. Uh, we've also been catching drum, like this pier right here, these broken down ones or the old ones. And the new ones that are in use. Uh, there is drum and there is redfish next to those. Uh, sometimes they're up two foot of water. Sometimes they're four or five. It just depends on that day and what that fish is thinking. But there is fish here. And when we have a north wind like this, it's a good place to hide out. And these fronts and things like that. Now, it gets real windy. And from the south, southeast, you're going to get beat up unless you're wade fishing. Uh, but there is some good fish right down through here. Any of these little piers. Uh, another deal is there's... Uh, right here by the the golf course, there's a little opening right here. When it rains, that water comes through there, and it feeds that. And there'll be redfish scattered all down through this whole bank is what's been happening. And there's some good black drum mixed in there as well, all on shrimp. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.